What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to episode 11 of The Linesman. Um, right after a nice little 4th of July weekend, the boys are buzzing minus Nikki again. Uh, wish him the best. Uh, the boy got into a little bit of a car yeah. wreck to start the start the week off. Yeah, Not so the way you want to spend your Monday. Thank you, bud. Speedy recovery. Yeah. This so you got, uh, out, you got me here again, Arby on the mic. I uh, lost my voice a little bit, getting a little too rowdy on the 4th of July. So this voice is either going to sound super <laughs> sexy to you or you're going to hate me for it. <laughs> we got <laughs> we got Andy here, That's producer right. Jay, and uh, we brought special guest Guillaume back. Except for In he's not studio. coming all the way back from Vermont. The boy is here today. In, In the flesh. <laughs> what did <it> baby? <laughs> <laughs> the the, the Gold Kanta lover of all things, Guillaume Melly. Thanks for gracing us with your presence again. Yeah, welcome to the show, man. Yeah, thank you for having me. Take two. Times, <laughs> times, times two. Yeah. Times two. two. Everything's always better after you've done it more than once, right? <laughs> At least that's too, what my first girlfriend told me. <laughs> <laughs> too bad we can talk about it. Yeah. 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 No, uh, no, you guys have been, yeah. <laughs> been out of that for a, for a hot minute. Sorry to your French boys. <laughs> yeah. So we got, a, we got a little bit of a packed episode today. Yeah. Um, we're going to get into we, the last two games there, the, the group of 16, and move our way into the quarter and semis. Uh, finally, we're going to preview a little bit there with the, the finals and talk about, you know, maybe some fun bets who might score, you know, a little, little, little bit of action that we can try to yeah. try to have while watching the game. It's, it's going to be an exciting game yeah. as is. Yeah. We'll see. Um, potentially today we might be introducing a little bit of a teaser coming for when Premier League starts out. Um, we will decide on that depending on how long G decides to yell at England at the end of the day. <laughs> let's go Spurs. <laughs> well, uh, let's let's start us off uh, talking a little bit about some of the some of the picks we made. Maybe not necessarily all the bets. I didn't put too many bets in this week, but uh, we made a couple of good picks. I think at the uh, the end of the episode ten, there kind of going into the quarters and those last two games, uh, starting off with picking uh, England. To move on, I yeah, think over maybe. Germany. Hey, that, was a, that was a tight game. There they but, go. But uh, we we made the right choice. I think we moved on. We picked Ukraine. Ukraine. They got to move on as well. Yep. That was my uh, that was my go to pick. That was yeah. That was a really fun game. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, tough tough matchup for them to drop against this. Uh, no, they they ended up losing to England, but that was a great game against the Swedes. Yeah, fun game, entertaining, had everything you wanted in it, but. Tough, the, tough yeah. finish there, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, because they they had a great game against Sweden and then just was dominated by England. Like four nil, four nil in a knockout is not a good look. Yeah, that hurt. I mean, that hurts your pride. It hurts your dignity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was a tough one. That's all you got. He's just, the, the, he's get, just giggling in the corner. He's like, I mean, what else can you say laughing, about that? I mean, Ukrainians. what else can you say about that? Poor Ukrainians. All right, it's not the same old Harry Kane, is it? Yeah, no. No, it's not. And the boy put in two in that game. Yeah. What happened there? Where? Yeah, his spark is lit. I mean, he's on fire. Uh, I hope he comes back for the Spurs and does the same thing too because, I don't know. That, that would be that nice. That would be exciting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Real good for Spurs. Well, maybe well, he's got to come back, right? <laughs> he's still up in the air. Yeah. No, he's coming back. Yeah. I have. Guaranteeing. Guaranteeing. It. Yeah. You heard it here first. Yeah, he guarantees Harry Kane back yeah. to Spurs. I called a couple of people in London. It's coming yeah. back. Well, I'll tell you what. You know, maybe if he gets a little taste of the, of the winning here from the I Euros, mean, yeah. then he's like, you know what? All right, I won one. I've shown that I can win. I got to bring. Let's, now let's bring it to the Premier League. Bring, bring some guys with me. Bring one home for the to Spurs. To the Spurs, yeah. Exactly. Well, who knows? I mean, we got, we got a new coach. He has a yeah. um, yeah. offensive mindset. I think uh, we just need a few pieces around. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. it should be good. But yeah, he, speaking about that that Ukraine Sweden game though, um, yeah. uh, it was definitely I think a, a lot a lot harder fought than than what people were giving Ukraine a little bit of credit for going in. Yeah, I think people were really kind of riding Sweden and lost I, I a while. Liked, I liked Sweden a lot. Forsberg had a great game. I think he scored a goal in that one. Mm -hmm, he sure did. Um, they're they're like play individual players. I think were looking better than the Ukrainians, but they had the team. On their side, uh, and a red card just unraveled. It Sweden. really did. But, I mean, starting off the first goal of the game, your boy. Yeah, Zinchenko with a absolute – was a pearl of a of a He cross. absolutely hammered it. Smacked <laughs> it. And he's like, it was like a little like early, too. He was like way outside the box. 
on the way, like out near the on side, the left line, side yeah. and like in front of the 18 yard line and just whips it in nice left foot. I love the away I love perfectly. the passion that he had there. Yeah, like he was. He was I mean, he, he was, was jacked. jacked up. Yeah, I mean, it's a little. A, he's a little boy, but I mean, a, he was screaming. A big, that's a huge goal, and and I saw I saw him post something. It was a, um, it was kids before the England game, just playing in the street. But it was like four Ukrainian kids, like with their hand over their heart, like singing the Ukrainian national anthem, <laughs> and then they just start chasing the ball around, and like that's the mo. That's what that's you it. play for, and that's what. He knows is like he's doing it for the country. He's not just doing it for him and the teammates. It's for all the people back home, kids, parents, everybody. So yeah, obviously, when you're scoring goals this late in a tournament, it means a lot. Mm-hmm. What did you think about that game, G? Um, I mean, it, it, like like you said, the red card was tough, but uh, overall, I thought it was a really good game. Um, and then talking about him too, I think he's going to have actually a pretty good season next year uh, with uh, with City. Um, like you're saying, like his confidence is coming up, yeah, you know, it's, uh, he's becoming a leader and, um, and I don't know if Mendy is going to share that left side because Mendy's always getting hurt and whatnot, but I think that's going to be like his, his permanent it's gonna spot. going to be his, his yeah. to take. Exactly. No, it's kind of exactly. nice to see that exactly. he, he was able to slide up yeah. and take that, take that role on. Yeah. A f- yep. Offensive. And like you said, his like leadership on this Ukraine team is mm-hmm. huge. Paramount. Yep. That's like a massive part of it. He doesn't wear the armband, but you can tell. That even though he's, he's a young the next player, guy, <laughs> he's a young player. Everybody looks to him. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so that's gonna be a big boost coming yeah. out of the gate there, coming in August. Yeah, that city defense. Uh, it's it's gonna be. It's yeah, gonna I mean, be good, they, man. They had some, they they had those half of it um, representing the England yeah. team. So like yeah. cities, yeah. the <laughs> England back <laughs> line, the England back <laughs> line, half, of it. half blue, half red, and they, God, they look good. I was, oh, yeah. yeah, I was looking at it. I was like, oh my God, this is like literally City and United. Yeah, coming together. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. terrifying as the, as the yeah. other as the other fans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we'll we'll get to that uh, semifinal today a little bit later on. But we'll keep going down the line. Spain. Kind of Ugh. looked weird. It looked I very hated that game. in and out against It made no sense to me. It was weird. Uh, they end up going through. But yeah. I think, it, I mean, a big part of it was that Switzerland just had no gas left. Yeah. 120 yeah. minutes against France cost them a lot of energy. They yeah. couldn't keep it up against the Spanish late. Well, you could, and it was just, it sucked though, because Spain should have handled this game. Yeah. Their first goal was an absolute fluke. Early in the game, just bad defense, and they were dominating, dominating. Yeah. Obviously, doing what they do. I they said they were going to get away from the team. little ticky taka. I mean, if they so played it the whole. It yeah. was it was like a little little triangle moving up and yeah. down the field together. They yeah. never gave possession up that whole game, no. and all the scoring opportunities were run right through them. Yeah, the uh, their defense is. I mean, they got to figure something out on defense. Um, they have a lot of yeah. What, who was it? Uh, I got it down here. It was Laporte and Torres. That's who. Oh, that's yeah. who gave that up. Yeah, just a Laporte, dumb, yeah. dumb little mistake out there. And and it's the left back and center back just knocking the ball off each other. Yeah. Like just it. It was embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> and bounced right yeah. out. And then unselfish, an unselfish play to 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 put it back in the center to get the goal. But Shakiri tucks it in. Right. Yeah. There. So yeah. it was it was it was a pretty play afterwards, but it was such an easy clear. They weren't even they didn't even have possession at that point, and it was just brought yeah. right back. But then there were, there were moments in this game though where Switzerland would look like they were starting to take the game. Mm-hmm. Spain was able to to squash all of that and at least bring it to the the 120 minutes. And but it 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 didn't seem like that that Spain side that scored four goals in the game before right? they were right. they were hard pressed for this one. Uh, it wasn't an easy go for them, but they did do very well. I mean, <laughs> the was it the last ten minutes of this game though? Um, what's the Switz goalie's name? Um, Jan Sommer. 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 Yeah. He made like ten saves at like after ninety minutes, pretty yeah. much. Like it was, it was everything that he could do to just bring this to the last. 120th minute and hope for PKs. And a couple really nice ones. Full full arm extensions. Yeah. Pushing like, it out from the corners. I think I think he's a goalie of uh the goalie of the tournament. Tournament for sure. easy. Yeah, he's a leader. And uh well, I hope uh, he gets paid too. Tough to say. Know, that was Donnarumma. crazy. <laughs> no, yeah. Donnarumma's not doing anything like this though. Donnarumma's 
Donnarumma has Donnarumma looks like a good goalie because he has a really good defense. I guess that's Jan true. Sommer looks like a really good goalie because he has a trash defense in front of him, at least comparatively. Yeah. To to Italy, I think it was hard for me to look past the the, uh, the old center part. So maybe maybe that's yeah, just he, me yeah. pulling off a couple points. <laughs> of the, the old center part that he's rocking he during looks. the tournament. <laughs> but no, yeah, they Spain was wanted the goal, but I think it was mainly because Switzerland just couldn't run anymore. Yeah, we're done. I like literally. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's my perspective based on like you know what I was seeing. Uh, like Switzerland, they, they were gassed, man. Like yeah. uh, their leaders were Toast. were sobbed, right? Um, so I feel like Spain was pretty much. I, I don't think they're a good uh, PK team um, at all. <laughs> no, they, I don't no, think but, they wanted to. Go but there. it was. No. But, but, but no, no. <laughs> but I, I felt like the, they they wanted to go to PKs because they knew that all the the best Switzerland player would were sobbed out. that out. Mm, yeah, they had a bit of a, a an advantage there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They so liked like their five. Yeah, their five more. way more. But I was like, it's weird because I don't think Spain is a good PK team. I don't know about no. you guys. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it showed. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it showed <laughs> not <laughs> not long. The national yeah. teams <laughs> take much long. They haven't. They haven't won, like really won PKs and yeah. I think it was like this was the first one in a couple a couple years maybe yeah exactly like their, their percentage and on, on shooting in that and that's what happens when you don't have a any, any real real no strikers real on good that forwards team. yeah yeah the the most goals ever scored by a spanish national player is morada at six wow. six goals yeah that's the most ever like that team is all just about finding that one opportunity and whoever happens to have it at their yeah. foot just put it go, in. yeah they're they were scoring by committee through yeah. this but it it's hard to to kind of keep that because if if everybody's having a lull, like you can't look to be like, all right, this guy's gonna score us a goal. Yeah, it's no. not gonna. It's it wasn't gonna be Murata no. this tournament. No, it really wasn't gonna be any. Although of we those. got he got a couple. He but... did. Yeah, he he did enough to stave off total like criticism. Yeah, but for the most part, where what the opportunities he had, all the chances, all the all mm -hmm. everything that he did versus everything that he can like walk home with at the end. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't add up. It's so tough watching Spain too, because like sometimes the play like there's no sense of urgency, man. Like yeah. they're up like nice over zero. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like you were saying too, when the when the last won the World Cup and the Euro, what, what year was that? Was it two thousand? They went they they went three in a row. They won 08 Euro. Yeah. Twenty ten World Cup. Twenty twelve Euro. Twenty twelve Euro. And then they had Fernando Torres, right? Yes. So when you have Fernando Torres on the field, like, all right, I have my nine. Yes. I know. <laughs> I know if I need a goal, I can <laughs> go to guy, my nine. Yeah, right. This exactly. Guy's do it. Right. But exactly. No, you got yeah. Morata though. He's he's, 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 <laughs> got the, he's got the most goals out of all of them. He was supposed this, to. Dude. Yeah. Come on. He was supposed <laughs> yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he he had the fire. I think that that's one thing. I don't want to uh, hate on him too hard. I mean, he he played with a lot of passion. He just, for for whatever reason, he just was having trouble just kind of getting that, getting the laces properly on the ball, getting it yeah. to stay low. Yeah, he was. You know, he just he could not keep it down. He's struggling. I mean, and they had twenty eight shots, twenty four chances created, and only two big chances created. That like that's that's their style. I mean, so so now when you have a team that's got eight shots, that one big chance, they've got the one goal. Yeah. So now all of a sudden you're tied one one, playing all the way through one one twenty. Mm -hmm. You know that's that's their style. I was, it's crazy. Like this, this is probably like one of the best Euro tournament that I've oh yeah ever seen. We're spoiled. We yeah, are we're spoiled. Very this, spoiled right now. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's just like. Was it all the own goals? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Most ever, like yeah. all like and all the tournament one combined. Today, right? Another yeah. one, another one today too. Yeah, yeah. it's just uh, absurd. <laughs> <laughs> that, but that's been the kind of tournament where you never know what's gonna happen. It just goes this way, that way, this way, boom, bounce in the net. What just yeah. happened? Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, so and so's down a goal right now when they shouldn't be. Yeah, my or uh, what a lucky goal! People were hitting me up today. They're like, "Kian, what do you think?" I was like, I, "To be honest, I just I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know." The only the only thing I'm kind of sure of is Italy. Yeah, who yeah. who who oh, yeah, did, going did into that well next with game. Belgium, just kind of scooting them. That was a weird game too, yeah. though. Italy was so dominant in that first half, just so dominant. But I mean, it looked incredible. And then it was Belgium like, late just in the first half that they equalized. Yeah. Right, right before half. Right before half. And then with a with a nice little or actually was it was it late? Or was it right at the beginning of the second? I can't remember. It was yeah, it was either right before or right after. Yeah. But that that goal. Oh, oh yeah, it was it was yeah. right it was right before. It was right before. Now that I remember. All right. Right before uh, Lukaku. Yep. The PK. Or the, yeah, the PK. Yeah, so. and the PK. Mm-hmm. And 
just, I mean, just put him on his back and then tossed it into the middle. Yeah. Pretty, pretty simple. Lukaku scores. That's what he does. That's that's another player, though. Like, people got to stop talking shit about Lukaku. Man. Oh, he's I'm so, sick and tired was, of, like, hearing he people was, talking shit about Lukaku. Uh, who's without talking, him? Who's talking without about him? I, no, he took a ton of criticism <laughs> when, he <left> England, <laughs> yeah. when he left England last oh, yeah. year. I this th- year, it was he did a lot. To- I think he's the best striker in the world right now. Yeah, I, he's I out think there. so. Pe- yeah, people are like his, for his age and everything. Yeah, yeah. he's <laughs> gotta be. People are like, oh, he has the worst touch. So what? He's not messy. Yeah, no, he's brute force, run you over, and he, put the ball through he, the net. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> not just in the which, net, which like almost, blasted. which almost, I wish he would have done more in this game. There was a couple, couple shots he put on net that yeah. were that looked like more touch, like he was trying to shoot it to the yeah. corners. You know, we had that one, that one chance there in the second half that I think he, what he flipped it with his right, just trying to go to the the left left side of the goal. Yeah, and a little <laughs> just, cute one. Just couldn't get it by. He got a little too cute, and I'm like, just. <laughs> Bully the boys. Yeah. Just do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do what you do. You see, do you see how much he weights, man? Like, there's a Cong- that's a Congolese boy yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. That that is a, a Congolese. That is a that is a. Oh my god! I wish you played for the Cong- huge. He, that's a Congolese boy right there. That's what we do. You just like you just you know you just specimen exactly, man. Specimen. But does he have the dual citizenship? Um, so he doesn't. Is he's, he's full on Belgian guy because yeah, he's born. Okay. He's born, but he, he, he can have the dual citizenship. But that but, that ship sailed. But again, right. but again, man, like he, he doesn't need it. Just know? just out of curiosity, uh, how when it comes to playing for an international team? Because yeah. I know, like some people, when they have dual citizenship, yeah. What is the rule on like sticking with a side versus like switching from one side to another? Because like weren't there like a few players who did that or? I'm yeah, like so recently, recently um, so Kipembe actually used to play for the Congo, but he never played. I believe he never played for the first team, and that's that's the key. If you make a senior yeah. team debut, which they play all the way up until under twenty three, under exactly. twenty three is like Olympics. Yeah, so you can go support. I like if if I was a dual citizen, I could represent country A yeah. under twenty three my whole life, and then when something happens country b comes knocking at the door right. i can change my nationality my citizenship and play for country b only because i haven't played yet at exactly. as an adult mm-hmm. but if you do as an adult is there any then going you're, back then you're, you're locked, locked in, yeah, locked in. Locked in. so that's right. that's, that's always thing. yeah that's why it's always like a big deal when they cap a player yeah, sometimes okay. it could just be like a random just like because I could bring you on the bench, but if you don't go out there, you're still open. Yeah, exactly. Right. So they sometimes they sub a guy in in the 90th minute just to lock them in. So there's no doubt that Interesting. they'll so, represent. Smart. That, that's that's <laughs> the thing that happened with Benzema, right? Because when mm-hmm. he had, I mean, obviously he was playing for the national team for the World Cup. That was kind of to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, he was Because he's from in, Tunisia. He is from uh, Algeria. Algeria. Algeria, yeah. There's same vicinity. Yes. Um, so, and then he was like, you know what? F it. I'm just gonna go back and play for, but you couldn't go back and play for Algeria, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. So, gotcha. but again, his comeback is unbelievable, right? So, because wasn't there yeah. a dude who used to be in the German national team? Wasn't it, uh, who was in it? Jermaine something. He played for Jermaine the, Jones. Uh, Jermaine yeah. Jones. So he, he was. Jermaine Jones. Yeah, yeah. He had never represented them at the senior level. At the senior level. Yeah. Okay. So, because yeah, exactly. he was like an adult, he was like an established player, right? Yeah. But just never got picked by Germany. And gotcha. his mother, I believe, okay. is, or is one of his parents, biological parents, is an American mm-hmm. citizen. So he went like fast lane gotcha. and got in. Um, more more recently, or about the same time, the big one was um, the Brazilian player that was playing for Spain. Oh, big guy. Uh, mm-hmm. Blanking on his name right now. Striker. Kind of. Diego Costa. Diego, Diego Costa, Costa, yeah. So Brazilian played through the youth team on Brazil, but then became a Spanish citizen and represented Spain at the Brazil World Cup and got booed all over the place. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I, that, Tough that, he that had was the ballsy. He had I can't choice. believe he did that. <laughs> yeah, and even there's like an American, uh, I call him an American kid because he's representing the United States, but one of his parents is American. He's grown up his whole life in Netherlands, Serginho Dest. Yeah, he speaks Dutch. For all intents and purposes, he's a Dutchman, but he represents Team USA. Yeah, there was actually an American on a on a Denmark team. I forgot. Yeah, there's a there's been a few. Uh, yeah, Italy has taken some um, in years past. Uh, there's none these days. I think it was um, Daniele De Rossi mm-hmm. grew up in New Jersey. 
Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> and they just and they just sound, nobody Fun nobody the day. nobody ever grabbed nobody was like that kid's no. good let's get him in an American shirt <laughs> like what um, and there's another guy that, that just shows that shows the U S is t- like prowess <laughs> prowess yeah. or there's understanding an, or fandom for soccer there was you know, another dude that, I think he played yeah. in Dortmund. Uh, Pulisic? No, they they snagged him before. Oh, yeah, snagged but there was him a, like, there was somebody else who can't who who like fled political strife in like Central Europe, grew up here, same idea, yeah. the East Coast, and then went back. And I can't remember his name. I want to say he was like Czech Republic or something. But hmm. it it happens where like people fall through the cracks and then they're on a different national team. Yeah, interesting. But uh, Quiet. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes, and and like they can, you can change nationalities like on a dime, pretty much. If you're, oh uh, yeah, uh, if you're uh, leaving the U.S., player, not yeah. going yeah. to the U.S. Yeah, no, but even they, well, they got, they can bring you in if they want you. They'll, <laughs> they, they can pull strings. I'm actually, I'm surprised Spain didn't snag Messi. They could have tried to, but <laughs> I don't tried. think. I think he always had his yeah, because he grew up in Spain f- since he was like nine. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you that Nico was like real torn about that. Yeah, exactly. my buddy, yeah. my buddy, he he's from Uruguay, but he lived out in Spain for so long, and he's like, he's like, why isn't Messi playing for Spain? He's like, my other team. He's like, don't play against my national team. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, no. go out to Spain, yeah. man. No I want to play him. you in the Copa all the time yeah. too. Yeah, <laughs> and always knock them out. Yeah, uh, they're gonna be playing Brazil Saturday. Cup of America be, finals you know, should be a doozy. That's going to be a good one in Brazil. I think I think, I think I, Brazil. Takes I, I, I favor Brazil. Oh yeah, I, I mean Brazil favor. They're going to be the favorite. Messi's potential yeah. first um, international tournament though. This is a, this could be the first time he wins something with Argentina. He could has be. been on he's fire. Been a, in he's this been in a few too. finals. This is probably the best one he's looking like his form, his team's form. But he's going up against a really, really good Brazilian side. The yeah. the other best chance is when they had the Centenario in the U.S. and went that famous penalty miss. Oh my God! When he put it into the forty fifth row, <laughs> dude, roofed it. Messi. Against Chile. Yeah, that was tough. Yeah, yeah. But let's uh, let's right, jump yeah, back let's over the pond and um. So, so we can the Denmark we can... win. Schick I still with think another that, goal. I still think though, just real quick, that, that Belgium moment. Italy game yeah. was in my mind Sticking still back. it's the best game I've I've watched so far. I think it is because it was just relentless. It was the constant Italians pressure were just going everywhere, up and down, and little Insigne is like getting in like big Lukaku's face, like screaming Chilini, at him like he's a tough Chilini guy. Couldn't and couldn't have enjoyed that more. Like, oh yeah, who who is excited <laughs> to defend Romelu Lukaku? <laughs> what kind of sicko is like? Let's go! Like, <laughs> yeah. like he's just a maniac, right, That's, baby? He just he wanted to just dominate that game. Yeah. He wanted to put his fingerprint on it, and he did. Lukaku scored, but. He didn't look as dangerous as he normally does. Chiellini shut him down. I yeah. feel I feel like Italian also hate Lukaku because he's, he's just give him the business this year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because he scored a million goals. Yeah. yeah exactly. Well, unless you're an Inter fan. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right, Everyone right. else was was <laughs> not a, what was they not were a saying. Big, what did he have? Six six goals this year against Donnarumma. Yeah. So yeah. he, he had his six, number. Yeah. Yeah. So, so and he put another one. He got one with the he PK. He got one. It was a PK, but yeah. yeah. But he did the the Italian back line. Just every game they were playing, just they just looked better and yeah. better and better. Spinazzola was all over that left side. Yeah, tough to see him leave the that next, game. The next game, right? Or was it? No, it was, it was game. It was this game, right? Yeah, he yeah. pulled. Yeah, because he, he pulled up lame. He to me, I think saved that entire game. He was the one who blocked uh, Lukaku's potential goal, second goal yeah. of, the, of the match. You know, full cross right up to the right uh, right corner. And he just stood right in the way, blocked it twice in a row, and then ends up tor- tearing his Achilles a couple yeah, later. You know, yeah. that was all on the uh, line. <laughs> tough to say, it was horrible, horrible injury. to see because he he's such a huge huge player for them. So yeah. uh, it was tough to see. It obviously didn't factor into their next game, but yeah. But they they're all just wearing Spinazzola jerseys. Out after yeah, the game yeah, and stuff. yeah. Giving you know love. that that could be another one of those things. You know, kind of like going to the, that next game. You know, Denmark check. Like that's how Denmark's been rolling. Play for yeah. your you home. know, you're yeah. playing for playing for your boy. You're playing for more than just your nation, your national team. Now you're playing. You're playing for the guys actually been sitting next to you. Yeah. It's a little bit. It means a little yeah. bit more. It feels a little he bit. He can't tighter. do it. You got to do it for him. Exactly. Exactly. He's out now. Yeah, yeah. That was that was a big moment, and that could. I didn't. I haven't thought about it that way. But that could be just what the doctor ordered to get this Italy team all the way. Yeah, I, 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 I can't believe I'm saying that, but I think I think I, I think Italy is going to win. 
Well, yeah. we'll 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 We're get into we'll get, get into that. that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're lo- I like Italy a lot. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I think I think that was uh, that was the team that was talked over here by Nikki the most. Yeah, Nick, uh, he, yeah. he picked him to win the whole tournament for, to begin with. So yeah, we'll, we'll give him his credit where credit was due when we get into this. Um, in this game, though, another goal by Patrick Schick. Yeah, I, I, in Denmark, my mind, Croatia. he's still the player of the tournament, and uh, I, I don't Republic, think yeah. I don't think that I've I'm gonna pull away from that. I, I, in my mind, yeah. I, he's got the five goals. He's he's leading for most goals. He he was just uh, Ronaldo actually has it because he has an assist. So uh, Ronaldo would be the whatever golden winner, but I would say golden ball His best seven player. PKs yeah. that he best took. Best player is leading. Is, yeah, I think he had like three. <laughs> yeah, but he has no assist. <laughs> Schick had no assist. But yeah, he, the the fact that they went to a quarterfinal basically on this guy's back. He scored a goal. I think he averaged a goal a game. I one think game, he missed he one game, score, he didn't get a goal. Yeah, but the game before he had two, so mm-hmm. it all evened out. Yeah, he he carried this Czech Republic team to to this point. Uh, Denmark though, would just uh, they continue to look they came tenacious. out hot. They came out electric, hungry. firing electric. Yeah. electric. The Dan- the, it looked like Danish dynamite. It was they were going for it. They wanted to be this '92 repeat of, of of another team that everybody thought was just gonna fall out. And make some noise. I definitely didn't have them going this like far. almost no. anywhere. What do you got, G? <laughs> no, I was just gonna say after Sterling missed that wide open uh, opportunity, I was like, "This is over." Yeah. Well, yeah. They we're we're uh, we're heading a little bit towards today's game, uh, but I feel like I feel like yeah, we covered we covered them all, right? Yeah. Ukraine, England was really the only other one, but we we previewed that, covered that already. So, no, yeah. That that game was the one though that Denmark seeing them kind of move like that to to go into the to the semis to yeah, play England. That was kind of that was kind of where it was I was looking at they might actually be able to take England down. Yeah. I think when they went into like looking at the team. lines it was minus 300 for England uh to move on to the finals. Um and that was almost tantalizing to take for Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, man Denmark's good, man. They were they were ranked like what uh, tenth? tenth, yeah, in in the world, like coming into the tournament. And they're super young, super they've young. Got a, they've got a they've got a bright future, and they, yeah, they they showed up, yeah, big time. They have some they have some good players, man. Uh, they're like watch out for the World Cup. I don't know if they yeah. they're qualified. That but, front that front three was yeah. crazy. Even yeah. even in this England semifinal game, they looked really good. Yeah, exactly. They were very good. They yeah. were scary the the whole game. Yeah. They almost outplayed them. To be honest, like a lot of this game looked like they might have been outplaying them. Today's uh, semi. Yeah, England, today's Denmark. semi. Yeah, there were moments, sure, where the the front three were just linking up and making. England look a little dizzy, a little out of sorts. Yeah. Um, I mean, they opened the scoring. That's huge to do that, to take that. The to take kick, the early lead. Set piece, free kick. Uh, you guys, I thought, when I when I, when I went in and all the replays, I said, sick goal. That's what I Hell said. Hell of a goal. He absolutely, Damsgaard absolutely crushed yeah. it. I mean, don't get me wrong. The <laughs> technique, the power was there. It was right people, underneath the top pe- bar, bro. People saying Pickford should have saved. Should have saved it. You think? Yeah. If you if you if you kind of touch the ball, you gotta have it. He did look off too in other off. moments. He looked a little shaken up, or just like the nerves were getting to him. I think. I mean, because this is a fairly young team overall, and he is young, very young. Yeah. Yeah. And to be at Wembley in a semifinal. With all those fans, all the yeah. expectation, maybe it was getting to him a little bit today. And hopefully, if you're an England fan, this is the last of it. Oh, of, yeah. of a mm-hmm. for those of you guys out there, giveaway that might not know the arguments that were being had before the games or while the game was going on between G and I. The the man was <laughs> screaming at Pickford as soon as it happened, and all I'm doing is looking at this goal like, what is yeah. he talking about? <laughs> man, it's like a strike, an absolute piss missile. Yeah, just man, a great, piss great rock. curl way over the wall. The way it went up and down, it's, yeah, it's just impressive. It, it didn't really get like like left up into the corner like it really could have. It, it kind of stayed a little bit towards the middle. I, but I mean, he he lined himself up thinking he was gonna maybe come across. He wasn't. He wasn't expecting him to go yeah, up to what, the top corner. Yeah, where was corner. your problem? You said it was just a bad wall. Yeah, so that's what they were saying at halftime. You know, they were saying that he, he kind of he allowed Denmark's wall to kind of slide a little bit into the middle and not really give him that extra space. So he lines he lines himself up on the right side of the goal a little bit instead of in the center. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if he lines himself there in the center, he, he might get a hand on that ball, tip it up. But, I mean, it comes in there so fast, man. It does, but it's also coming it's, from 35 uh, yards. Yeah, man. but... Yeah, but he he I'm hammered. He couldn't see a thing. That is he hammered the wall. It. Well, did, the wall blocked it. That that that, that that's the goalie fault. You don't. Mm. Put, he, well, he, there he was don't put little, the wall to blind you. Yeah. Well, and also like yeah, the ball's coming in like that. But like, come on, man. Like it's. I don't know. Re, re looking at it again too. No, he he got, the, the, the only he the only it. thing he could have done is just if he had lined, sure if he had pre lined himself up to the side that he shot the ball at. But that's the point of the wall. You you use the wall as your insurance on the far side. That if he shoots it to the or the near side in this case, mm-hmm. that if he shoots it far side away from so himself towards go the goalie, it. he's always going to get it. Yeah. Granted, looking at the spot of it. It looked in a savable position. It wasn't like where the the spiders are in the corner of the net. Exactly. But that is man, it. It was he ripped it. It was it was one third into the net. He man. smacked so, it. So this is a scenario. <laughs> this is a scenario. No wall. Thirty five yards out. Same shot. Do you think he saves it? Because uh, he would be standing in the middle of the net. Yeah, he probably saves it. No, saves no, it no, 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 no. He's coming in from the same spot. Yeah, but no, the, you no say wall. no wall. He'd be standing in the middle of the net. No, 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 no. Same positioning. Why would he be standing elsewhere? Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just playing the same so scenario you're just without a wall. A hypothetical that doesn't matter. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Well, who would no. do that? What kind of goalie would instead of a wall? No, 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 that's not right over. That, 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 that's, that's not the point. Though. You're the being point. a whole. Fool. No, no, no. The, the point is <laughs> not, like not we're playing fool. the same scenario without a wall. Do you think he saves it from 35 yards out? Maybe he sees it a half second earlier, but probably not. No. So that's his fault. No, what? What? Uh, what? This no, is this, this makes is a no goal sense every time. This is a goal every the, time. The fact is that there's no way that my man could have possibly known that that's the exact spot he was going to kick it in. Like, Dude, <laughs> even even Dam's if there's guard even if didn't know Dam's, that's where he was going to kick it. I mean, in. Dam's guard and Pickford. <laughs> even if they're the only two on the field, I'm pretty sure this goes in. I mean, yeah, just, even if he's all alone by himself, it's you can, just the two of them looking at each other. You can go. You can go on YouTube and look up like Pickford mess up. And you yeah. can see at least two or three similar goals. I mean, sure. Honestly, like, that's but, not... I mean, I can watch this a hundred times. doesn't have and, him out there. <laughs> and get very... I mean, he, like, picks his nose right before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, like, he, like, he, like, wipes he, his face or something. No, it looks like he picks his nose. Yeah. The, the, like, the, he, he's, like, he's always... Oh, yeah. He's, like, picks his nose. He, he, he's, he's, he's always... He's, he's, I, I feel <laughs> I like... Know. I feel like sometimes... I don't, I don't pick, blame I'm him. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, feel, I, like, yeah. I feel like sometimes <laughs> it's, like... I feel like he's all over the place, man. Sometimes he's, like, questions himself. Like, the hey, yeah. You know? It's like the hair. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, to be could, honest, the only reason why Southgate's right. got him out there, though, is that he's better with his feet. It's not because he's going to be able to put the balls on. They, he the likes the back wall. line. He's, he's not a brick wall. Yeah. He's getting better with his feet. No, he's, he's, he can yeah. use both feet. Compare, yeah. The guy can use both feet. He, he, can, he can send some through passes from his position at goalie, and they utilize him, especially when they're running three in the back, and they have to rely on his feet. So I mean, yeah, I mean to me, big time. to me, I think that they're they're extending out their defense by by using him and hoping that they are able to actually stop. They're, I mean, you got Luke Shaw who slides back and basically plays right back for them when they yeah. get in there. And Harry Maguire is, I in my mind, the unsung hero on that defense. The guy's been oh, yeah. just Hot like head. an absolute big, big goal. Oh, he's a huge too. monster. But every set piece, he's either the guy that's getting Always rid of it yep. or he's the guy that's he's, scoring from it. You know, yeah. like, he's he's really good with his like he knows how to play in with the his air? head. Yeah. Like in the air, he's like, I think but he's they like trusted one of the best. those guys back there. So yeah. that's why they were like, we don't need the guy to make crazy saves. We, yeah. we need him to make more opportunities for us to score. Yeah. Yeah, make, but that, make the easy saves and dish it out. Yeah. I mean, that's they'll take that. That's Garrett not, Southgate takes that because guess what happens? Giving up one goal. But that's on the whole goal, tournament. That's on the goal anymore. That. Then <laughs> might as well just put a center back there. Nah, you. But you then, but then, pretty pretty quickly, <laughs> own goal. Another own at this tournament's like what seventeenth something crazy. Yeah. That's, yeah, that might be hyperbole, but I'm not far off. An own goal, but it was a beautiful it was a beautiful run and play by England that basically yep. forced an own goal. Yes, it was either own goal or a or Sterling was tapping it. Yeah. Sterling, Sterling tapping. was it, it was, was a, again the, it. the boy Kane dude setting it up. It was and nice he wasn't little... scoring. That was a perfect perfect seeing seeing Saka's Sokka. run yep. Yep. and putting that ball right there and and Saka just making that run using his speed catching up Sokka forcing and him and, and well. forcing forcing the defenders to get into those positions and Sterling doing the same thing pressuring right down the left yeah. side and, and also like whipping that ball with pace too right yeah, yeah. Um, hard so that was a firm that was pass. that was hard too cuz like it's either like you're saying Sterling uh, you know hits it in or it deflects off the defender mm-hmm. cuz he knows the defender's tracking back so 
um, either way, someone's going to touch it, right? Yeah. So. Um, yeah, he just yeah. hit it. It's like, yeah, he just hit as hard as he could and hope for a good bounce. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and, it, and it, it worked. It worked. <laughs> and that was like right before half, too. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice little bit oh, of momentum yeah. taken away from the Danes. A Co- couple minutes after great. they scored, yeah, to be they honest. They were looking good. Uh, Denmark's counterattacks was obviously, was obviously the way to go today. Yeah. They knew England were going to keep the ball. But in that first half, every time they broke out, it looked like something could happen. Not every time. But the, every time they did have the ball, there was a potential moment. Mm-hmm. Do you think? Do you think if they go one zero at half, I think it's they, over. Uh, who think, Italy or no? I think I think it goes. It will still probably go into extra time. And though if this um, if, if this game, this Denmark England up, game, yeah, one zero okay. at half, England would have gotten their goal, but I think it would have gone to PKs. PKs. I think it would have been a yeah. Oh, I don't okay. think England would have had enough like confidence. England was all all. Over them in this. After they scored, it was a yeah, it was a wrap basically. It. Yeah. it was a it was just a wrap. It was and either a I can't believe this went into extra. England I win. can't believe this even went into extra. The press yeah. that they had in in the ninetieth minute. 80th minute on was insane. I, they were in relentless attack mode. Yeah, I I love the move of like putting uh, Grealish in. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's, he's, I, I yeah, love how they've the been game. using it. Let's yeah. go win. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Which and is kind of the first. Which is kind of the first time we've seen Southgate taking a a less conservative and more just like let's go, let's open it up. Yeah. let's run at their side and let's yeah. get a goal. It's like and, and also he's like the most foul player in yeah. EPL. And, and he got a, he got he drew a yellow card in seconds. In a second, yeah. it's like why why not? Why not try to find like a like a set piece or like something. a PK or like something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. opportunity. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, even just the stats don't obviously say everything, but the, England dominated in every stat. Just dominated yeah. in every. They step. were always going to. Yeah, they Denmark came At in. Wembley they did. Too. Come on. They did what they did. Yeah. I, I know that this is one of the other. They made it interesting. I called this I'm final glad. score too, two to one. I know it wasn't. I wasn't expecting it to go into extra. I, I thought we were going to get a, an early Mason Mount score, and then we were going to get Kane coming in clutch, and it was going to be a maybe one to one game at that time. And I was expecting a set piece, not a free. Well, but, I mean, it is technically a set. Or there was two set piece kinda. goals, technically. Yeah, because yeah. that that penalty kick. I did, I that, did was say that, it was going to be maybe was, they get the set was piece. That a penalty? They get was that in. a penalty? Yeah, it was a, yeah. It was, uh, you think mm, it was a penalty? I was waiting for something. I don't know. To bring it up. I, I think it was a penalty. It's but, tough. It's tough. How can you not call it? Yeah, it you was, know, yeah. it was. It it felt soft, but at the same time. You where where the penalty you happened? Can't, yeah, you, know? you can't even block people off in the box. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't call it in overtime, but but again. You, if you're gonna call it in regular time, you have to call it in overtime. And I think that I appreciate that kind of consistency. Like you can't just yeah. all of a sudden decide it to swallow your whistle because it, yeah. of the the moment in the game. And it wasn't until they go into super slow mo, which always makes everything <laughs> seem a little whatever you thought yeah. seem a little bit more sure of yourself that it wasn't a penalty, but. In real time, yeah, he got knocked. In over. In real time, I mean, a there was also the one box, that could have been yeah. called, in, like in the ninetieth, right in the same, yeah. right in the same side. Yeah, that, that I, the Harry Kane one. That yeah. was that one. He he looked like he was just stabbing for the ball, and he kicked the other guy. Mm-hmm. And it, whichever angle you watched, Denmark fouled England or England fouled Denmark. Yeah, it, it entirely depended. <laughs> yeah. With this, it was like, okay, how hard did they just knock over Sterling? Yeah, yeah, and. Yeah. In slow mo, it didn't look all that hard. In real time, I mean, he's like any player, fast, any yeah. any attacking player, knows, and I mean knows to go down. Sterling does that when he runs too, though. Like when he gets, oh, into he the also box. smacks somebody falling down. <laughs> <'cause> he <laughs> runs like this. Well, he runs like he runs he's like falling T-Rex. over. You know, like he gets ahead of his skate so much. I don't know how he keeps the ball in front of him because half the time he's running past the ball and his leg <laughs> reaches behind his body yeah, and then he just pulls favorite. it back forward. He does it all the time, and I just look at it and I go, I don't get it. You yeah, freaking, I would yeah. leave the ball. Yeah, like, how do you not fall on your face constantly? <laughs> yeah, he's an interesting player, but you know what? British people need to leave him alone. Yeah, yeah. like the guy had a good tournament. No, he's been I, I think, he's been yeah, he's, he's been, been much great. better than I thought, and I I think that he struggled in the first few games, even though he had a couple yeah. goals. He he did it. You know, he's kind of a little bit of a ball hog. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the boy puts yeah. his head down. Yeah, they should he, give him his he grabs own for and he runs. Christmas. <laughs> Even a couple times today, you know, they could have put in a couple extra goals, yeah. but he was like, nah, I got to get mine, yeah. baby. You got to get mine. <laughs> but that uh, that PK gets awarded. Harry Kane steps up, Oof, goes tough. down to his right, and guess where Schmeichel goes? The exact same spot. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, that hurt me to see him 
spill the save that hard. Mm. So close to grabbing it. It too. just dropped, it, and it's especially the way that it bounced was literally directly back at Harry Kane. And Kane's done that a few times with his PKs, where he kind of just shoots it flat out at one of the sides, and he's like, "I can get this rebound if I need nobody's to." Nobody's gonna ever save it. Yeah, no one's ever gonna say that cleanly. No, like you're not you gonna grab it. it. So like, if it bounces back out, like I can finish it again. And he does that sometimes. He plays those PKs yeah, safe. It's, it's a. It was a weird, but. Also, like it really wasn't that good of a penalty because it, it's. That was a terrible penalty. It's, it's low. I'm not giving was, him credit for it. It was, it was firm. Trash. It, was, it was a hard kick, but he. But at the same time, when you know somebody's gonna dive full stretch, yeah, that's a hard save to make because you're basically making it at your belly button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you want to make it at full stretch, you want to make it with your arm extended. Yep. And that's a big reason why when uh, Schmeichel went, he had to like save it at his chest. Yep. And the ball, guess what, went towards his legs, back towards Kane. And yeah. I, I don't know if I doubt Kane did that on purpose, but no. as a big Kane I, fan, I mean, I'm happy that he was able to put it back rebound. in because they would have never let it Sometimes you got to put the rebound in. Like you yeah. say, like, England balled out, but I think, you know, the soccer gods felt bad. Uh, they yeah. got a little. They, they got gave a little, them a lot yeah, today. They gave them a lot today. Yeah. So they should be praying to the soccer gods. Yeah, they need. <laughs> yeah, they, they better hope that they, that they run out today, that That's they've right. got yeah. one last. Little bit of juju coming their way because that that wasn't the most convincing England win out of all these England wins that they've had. Uh, it looked like Denmark was going to be able to stretch them all the way to the PKs, and that would have freaked me out. I and would not have wanted yeah, to England see Pickford fans, there. Yeah, like, England fans in a shootout. Yeah, yeah, they don't always do well. No, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad they went through. Um, so yeah. you know the the next game it's gonna makes be it more, makes uh, it way more exciting yeah, and more Italy exciting. England final yeah. versus oh, Italy yeah. Denmark yeah oh yeah I yeah. would have liked either but this is the no one. but I'm this I'm riding this we've because, got it man I'm Ladies telling and gentlemen, you this gonna be this gonna be a defensive battle I I'm not sure how this is gonna and, yeah. go the midfields are gonna be I think they're gonna be holding people back I don't think you're gonna see much like attacking in this game I. I think I, I don't see I don't see them playing Kane up high at the nine. I think that they might pull in, have three forwards. Yeah. Seems like what Southgate's done when he's been afraid to lose the game. He kind of pulls the boys back a little bit. But I, but I wanna say that I almost want to say Trippier is gonna start too. And the the well, we'll see. I don't know. But the way that yeah. the Italians have been going for it this tournament makes me feel that they're gonna wanna push the pace. They're gonna make they're going to want to make England defend more than they... I mean, England's pretty comfortable in defense, mm -hmm. but they're going to make it tough for them to break out and keep the ball. Yeah, exactly. That's, and that's... and that. If I'm the Italians, that's what I want. I want the ball that game. Yeah. If, I, if I can maintain possession and I can let my forwards run, because, yeah, their forwards aren't the most in form compared to the Italians, um, but they're still getting balls in the back of the net. Yeah, they're making chances. I, I also think they're they're gonna pressure the defense too because they're gonna want Pickford to make like a mistake. Yeah, yeah, so, they shoot. Yeah, if they gotta, shoot and shoot and shoot. They're gonna something. yeah exactly. They're gonna they're gonna pressure. They're gonna. I mean, Italians are like man. It looks like they never get tired. Relentless. Well, it's it's, it's, it's hard just running hard around. To say, man. Though I don't know. It's, they they looked they did they just, looked they did super just play beatable. One hundred twenty plus PK and they just yeah. looked super beatable against Spain. I mean, but I think that was part of the part of that was Spain's ability to control the game, control the ball. I don't yeah. think England is as good at doing that. No. England can That's be good true. at keeping the ball, That's moving true. it around, but they are not Spain. They are not Spain. They don't have those plays. They don't have Pedri to base it, to knock around. Like I think it took him until the 118th minute to <laughs> miss a pass. He played almost true. the entire game yeah. at a perfect pass percentage. Yeah, I, I think England does a good job once the ball leaves the defense. Yeah, and it's on the other in the half. final third. On the final yeah. third, exactly. Then they're very dangerous. But like, like I was saying, though, like you know, um, Italy is gonna make England play the ball from the back. Yeah, they're gonna pre they're gonna pressure them, right? Yeah, because they use um, that gauge and press. Kind yeah, of yeah. they're all the mm -hmm. way up. Yeah. They they do not make it easy for the defenders to get the ball out. Yeah, the exactly. Italians. Exactly. So uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. And then if England goes up one zero early, phew, I don't know. That's well, gonna be a the test. other thing for me too with this is you know jumping into the preview fully. Um, I. I just I take um, England's bench over Italy's bench too. I I think that the the star power there to to score goals 
you have more people that can come in that will need that can score goals for you. Second half, super subs. Yeah. That can come in and really Attacking press wise, that defense when they're tired. But I think, after going another 120. But I think the Italians, everyone on that bench pretty much has seen action. Oh yeah. And yep. they are confident. Like they're they're working. These are just two really good teams. Yep. Units. Defensive units mm -hmm. at attacking formations that are that are doing doing enough. Mm -hmm. Right, they are just good teams with enough firepower. At least the England side has enough. The Italians are a little bit more spoiled that they're starting three, but mm -hmm. we've seen it. If this goes an extra time, those big guys come off. Yeah, they can't run forever. Yeah, and England does have a few kind of aces in their back pocket. Well, I'll tell you that send the Grealish first, in, to the, use Grealish exactly. as a, as a extra say time that. sub. And yep. and the big thing with that too is that the first sub that Italy's been taking out is Ferrati. Yeah. So now you're putting in Graylish yeah. right there, who's going to fill in that exact role that Verratti does for Italy, but for England. And they don't have somebody else that's going in. They have somebody coming in for defense. Yeah. They're putting a defensive minded midfielder in there instead of their attacking guy. So if, if Italy can get out of this first half, I really, really feel pretty comfortable. You know, if they're not playing from behind in the second, mm -hmm. that, that they can really hold out. And I mean, I'm still taking Kane over anybody here in terms of <laughs> being able to put the ball on the net. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna trust anybody, he got one today. If he had that penalty saved, and they still went through, like on a PK shootout, I would think that he has all the doubts of the last. Oh yeah, semifinals, semifinals and finals, ripping at his brain. But if yeah. if you watched if you watched him in this last game when they gave up that goal early. He was the first person to settle the whole team I mean, down, he's the, he's to the, relax the yeah. boys and say, let's get in it. He's the I don't vet. think he's in his head on this stuff anymore. I don't Finally. think he really cares. He's the wily vet, too. Uh, no. Oh, he like, cares. He's like the well, oldest Well, obviously guy he ever. cares. Oh, he the cares. boy <laughs> wants to win. The boy wants to win. But I mean, like, I don't think he's afraid of the moment. Cares. Yeah. I think he says, if it happens, it happens. I mean, I'm going to put in to, all the effort. No, to, no. To don't get me wrong. Is is a, is a leader too. Um, is definitely a leader. Um, so that, that's. I think that's one of the biggest things that's going to separate England with Italy. If Italy Harry has. Kane, yeah. If Harry the Kane shows up big, yeah, it might be going home. Yeah, it might be going home. But I think the leadership in uh, in Italy, man. Did you see the way those guys sing their national yeah, anthem? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like they're going to war. And, and yeah. <laughs> did you see? Uh, that hex. See Kalini's head games going up to the shootout. Him and Jordi Alba stepped up after the 120th minute to decide which end and who's oh, yeah. going he first. Picks him up. He's yeah, shaking he's like, him. <laughs> he's like he's like palling around with them. Like they've just like their old friends just meeting up for like yeah, a pickup yeah, yeah. game, and they're yeah. just trying to figure out who starts with the ball. <laughs> I think yeah. he picks this him is, up off the ground. This is a and semifinal. Shook him, like, give him a this hug. is a friggin' <laughs> semifinal of the Euro. And, and, and him. he knew exactly what was going on. And this is his, he, and this is probably his last one. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So. He doesn't have any. So he's just having fun out there. Yeah. And I think it's kind of well. They have him to play for. All these younger guys say, "Let's well, let's get it for him. Let's give him a trophy." Mm -hmm. And it's also for Spinazzola now. Yeah, he's out. It's for Spina. It's for Giorgio. And I mean, they just I I, I, had, I have a hard time picking England just because of the way that Italy has really kind of shown up throughout this tournament. I'll tell yes. you what. They what do you look, what do you think the odds are against Spain? Who, do, uh, who who should be the favorite in this? I said I, I would I would give a, a slight slight advantage to Italy just form wise, but England being at Wembley, I mean, what, give them like minus one ten. England is the um, the favorite in this. So regulation first first odds that came out to win in regulation, it's England plus one sixty three. Italy plus 205 to anytime win it's England minus 140 and it's um, Italy plus 112. That's okay. kind of a lot more than I thought it was. I I was also thinking Italy was going to be the favorite. Give a, give a slight edge. Yeah. Not humongous. But. Or just straight even. But like, it seems like it's a little bit slid more England's way. I mean, it's in Wembley. And I, everything's got to be what it every, is. The, the the pace and momentum that momentum. is happening yeah. in, <laughs> in that stadium with this entire country, like they've been they've been waiting for this moment since 1966. And also, uh, <laughs> yeah. 
they were cheating too because they were supposed to have <laughs> 60,000 people in the stadium and they had way over 60,000. Oh, oh, they're they pushing snuck the COVID in. limits. They snuck in. I'm going to have to call <laughs> Boris. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they snuck <laughs> in. <on. laughs> but it'll be, it'll be the, it'll, it's the dream final. Who Especially had, for those English fans. Who had the, who had the harder route to get in here? Italy. Italy? Easy. Yeah, right. beating Spain was way harder than beating Denmark. Yeah. For the semifinal. But was it England, England beating <laughs> Germany? At the yeah, yeah, definitely. Spain yeah. would I think Spain would beat England. You think so? I think I would be way more confident in Spain taking it to England just because England wouldn't ever touch the ball. Yeah, exactly. True. They'll control the and game. And that would frustrate them. Yeah. And that's why and that's why Spain looked so comfortable, even like late in that game because Italy, they were just able to hold the ball forever and ever and ever. Italy couldn't win a single game in regulation during this whole tournament. They won one against Slovakia where they went like five goals to none. Yeah. Every other game went to either PKs or extra time. Every single one. And that's a lot of that's just a lot more soccer to play. That's what like, I mean. Like no. they, like they're and then you go in to play against Italy. I mean the fact that they held on as long as they did was wild. I I don't know. I think England had just as just as tough of a. They they got Ukraine, and I guess that that's. I mean, they spanked them. Yeah. yeah. They I, smoked them there. The Germany game was the biggest hurdle. Yeah. Yeah. I think the goal to beat England, to be honest, it's like you make Pickford play with his fee to make like decisions with his fee and be a leader. Um, and then number two, because they're playing like they're in the EPL, right? It's a fast, quick yeah. game. Yeah, bang, bang, like like bang, you were bang. saying, right? They're if if you ball. can control the game and make them run around, game over. Yeah. Game over. Those are, that's, yeah. The, Ita- it, the Italian secrets to victory. Yeah, exactly. Because they don't have Angola content. Put, put the, to take the ball away. <laughs> <laughs> there he comes. How to say. <laughs> Quick Soccer Jesus. <laughs> but, but yeah, because if they can make Pickford make mistakes or, or put the game on him. Yeah, exactly. He very well could make a costly mistake. Exactly. All but, right, let's, let's put our final pick down then. I like the Italians. Italians. I'm That's, sticking with okay. them. I said Italy 2 0. All right. I'm I'm going with England. The new uh, or Nick, Nick's bracket. Nick's bracket is still that intact. boy. The final he had the finals. Actually, yeah, Italy, he England. It. He called the finals. What, Italy, what, England. What's the score? He has he what has it? Italy what winning it, right? Uh I know. I think he texted us. So you uh you had you had England. I had final, England going to the final as well, but I had him France. losing to France. Yeah, France. Oh my god, let's not talk about that. I had Italy losing to Belgium. What was should have happened? Okay, so he had he had an Italy France semi and an England Netherlands semi. Obviously, those didn't happen. But he has Italy England with the Italians coming out. So I'm I'm going with Nick on this one. I think Italians yeah. are gonna win. G I, likes him too. I like him too. I think. What do Nick, you think, Arby? You guys think I'm I'm going England. I, right. I, I honestly I, I, I like I like either. Either, like, I think that England. To I'd me, put money on both teams at home to <laughs> hedge your bets. <laughs> yeah, hedge your bets. <laughs> to be I honest, mean, I already bet England to win the whole thing honest, back that, before the tournament. Started, that's going to be like so. the perfect yeah. scenario that you see nice. in the movie, right? Like just a British fan just getting crushed. Yeah, yeah. This right. is their story. Their <laughs> story that's is the perfect. Is that's the perfect narrative, right? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just think it's just like two zero and the girl cry. Oh. And then Sterling, and then the news server wrote about Harry Kane and Sterling nothing. and all those guys. Just yeah. status quo for England. Exactly. Do you guys, do you guys see a, a regulation? I see extra time. You see extra time? Yeah. I do as well. I, I think that as, One as the zero betting Italy, man, extra time. I see, yeah, this is, this is going to be, it's going to be super hard for them to score. I, I like the, I like the tie. It's at plus 200, you know, for regulation. Yep. See them going in and I'm probably going to bet. England, I mean, I, I'm not going to bet them because I already bet them to win the whole tournament, so that would be stupid yeah. to double down. And it's not enough for me to hedge my bet, so I'm riding England. But, I mean, I still like minus minus 140 if you're going to take them to win anytime. I really think England's going to win this. I think it's going to be another one of those one nothing, 2-1 you know, maybe maybe two goals in extra time. Like not even. not like, a gorgeous, just a, a a classic Euro twenty twenty England win. Is that what you're calling? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're like, like nobody's nobody's too excited about it. It's, it wasn't it's that gonna great. be very exciting. It was just like a game that you watch, <laughs> yeah. but like England won it. But it, it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a back and forth game. I think it's gonna be aggressive in the midfields. And I think that we're we're gonna see whichever team makes that one mistake is gonna be the team that loses. Yeah, it's whatever team's back line or center uh, center back or or center mid or whatever's playing five there, 
whoever makes that one wrong pass, one of these two teams forwards are going to take it and just house one on the top. I mean, it almost happened against Germany. Yeah. I mean, you know, throwing if uh, Pickford you know, with a nice save in that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, but I think too. So if I'm England, though, my keys to this game is an early goal. Yeah, early. Something early, whether it's even if it's just chances, but don't let the Italians get too comfortable. Let them sweat it out a little bit. Yeah. Because if they can get a goal, they'll probably rather they'll be much more comfortable in defense. Rather than having to launch count like the counterattacks they'll launch are just like bonuses. Yeah. When because yeah. if they can take one, whether it's a free kick, Harry Maguire's probably gonna be a menace. Even with that big Italian defense, mm-hmm. Harry Maguire is a is a force. So if he can knock one in, like that's what I'm thinking. If if they can get a set piece early, knock it in the net, and then just be comfortable in defense, launching counterattacks, they're going to look good. And that'll make the game a lot more interesting, too, to be honest. Yeah. Because the Italians are going to have to run it. Yeah. They can't. Because <laughs> yeah. then at that point, they can't just hang on to I the ball. I think you, you got to run them, too. And I think that that's the thing is you're going to have to run them. We're not going to see the same formation from England. It's not going to be 4 2 three, one like it was today. No. You're, you're going to see, I, I mean, I think you're going to see Luke Shaw kind of playing up again with Declan Rice. I think Trippier gets the start. Trippier. Yeah. You, oh, you think he gets the start? I, yeah. I, I think he comes in. I think he gets so, the start. I yeah, think he's so, going to be the start oh, really? in this game because I think they're going to want to not give up a goal. And I think Southgate trusts him. And if this if this all pans out and it goes home and England wins, Garrett Southgate is the premier oh, yeah. intellectual. All the shit we talked about him to start <laughs> in the world. Because what in the world? Every, every, I mean, look at these lineups. Look at these formation changes. Look at everything he's doing. He is he is gaming the hell out of this. Man, he's not he's because he knows you don't just send out these are my eleven they're gonna win today. No 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 no. Yeah. He no, knows no, that no. Yeah. that to win a tournament it takes all twenty three guys. It does. The Italians are doing a very good job. Mancini is, but mm-hmm. they're not they're not making radical switches and like full blown formation changes. I, I I agree, and and I think also like that's where like France went wrong. It was so like you could predict oh, the yeah. starting lineup. Oh, and it's yeah. like you're trying to replicate what you did in the World Cup. Yeah, but it does <laughs> but doesn't work. Like, doesn't yeah. work. And right? you can't you can't go that deep. You can win no. you can win games, but you're never gonna win a tournament by playing no. 13 players. No, yeah. you can't. You can't. It wouldn't wouldn't shock me to see Reese James get the start in this game either. Yeah, he started the first two. He's played. A, he's played. Go back to him. Maybe. He's played. A, he's played a decent amount. I think that not giving up goals is going to be how he goes about this and. I think that they come out with that. Sokka's not going to get the start. Yeah, he wants to be conservative. He's going to play super <laughs> conservative. Yeah, that's that's what that's what my prediction is. That's why it's going to be an under game. That's yeah. why England's th- going to end up winning in in extra. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We'll what's your see. What's your final score? You said. I, I think I think it's still going to be a two one game. Two one. I think that time. both are going to go. I think it's going to be a one one. It's very similar to how, extra, how today yeah. how today's game went. One one. You know through ninety. Mm-hmm. England with an extra time goal. Yes. Gee, what were you saying? Two nil. I, I said two zero. Two zil. Two zero to Italy. I think it's gonna go one zero Italy in extra time. In extra time. I wow. think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be. So we love hard the pressed. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I, but but like I said, all the alternative is England gets that early goal and then Italy comes at them and then it's just, like that'd be the most entertaining where it's just a a battle. Yeah. Full sprint up down. The whole game, so we'll see what happens. Though I'm looking forward to it. I'm rooting for Italy, though. Nice. And then last, last quick, Copa Argentina, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. Always. I'm doing it again. Screw you guys. Oh. Argentina. <laughs> I'd like, I'd, Let's go, Messi. Baby. I would. I would like to see him finally knock that deal. I'm just doing it just more so to root for that boy than to do it for anything else. I would too, man. But it's just like, dude, it's in Brazil. Brazil team's good. Yeah. They're so good. Neymar is Neymar. so nasty right now. Neymar is doing what he, Neymar does. He he had a goal, or he had an assist um, two days ago. He megged, it, He gets the ball on the left side. Three, three defenders collapse on him. He megs one of them, runs by all three of them, and just gives a nice, easy pass. His teammate just buries it. Yeah. It looked like it looked like he's back in Santos. Like he's just having fun. Exactly. That's he the just, thing though. Exactly. Neymar is having fun. 
And then everyone knows that Neymar is a leader, and Neymar is not losing to Messi. Come yeah. on. No, he doesn't want to. He won't <laughs> let it happen. Exactly. And I know we got the Olympics coming up, but also Premier League is not too far around the corner. The boys are it's coming right up there. with a little bit of a tournament. So look forward to being able to bet against the pod. We got a little something, something up our sleeves coming up for it. That's going to do it for the boys today. We wish nothing but the best for England. <laughs> Just wanted to throw that in there one more time. <laughs> Go, Messi. <laughs> we'll talk to you boys next so week. Long.